300 Christians needed to change the spiritual temperature of this nation forever. Are you one of them? The Bible says creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God for this end time. You don't have to be a pastor or someone in a leadership position in a church to be part of this great move of God. All you need is a genuine hunger for the kingdom of God to be established on earth. Pastor Sunday Adelaja, the pastor of the largest church in Europe, the Embassy of God, is initiating a move of God in this nation called the History Makers Bible School. The History Makers Bible School takes place only on one Saturday every month to equip you for the next level. It will also be a good opportunity to network with like-minded Christians. You will receive tried and tested keys to church growth and pastoring without tears at the Emmanuel Center, 9 to 23 Marsham Street, Victoria, London, Southwest 1P 3DW. Registration is 40 pounds per session. To register, call 0798-114-6157 or email admin at hmbsuk.org or visit the website at www.hmbsuk.org Whatever you do, don't miss this move of God. Call the number on the screen now to register. Remember, you were called for a time like this. Hallelujah! Give God all the glory. Exclaim His name. Exclaim to His name. Proclaim His name. Glory, glory be to you. Church, give all glory to go to Lord. Give all glory to our winner. To that one who was, who is, and who will be, who have never lost. Who always wins, who always wins the hell and death, the one who exalted upon all our problems, the one who conquered all the problems and all the crises. He is here. He is here. Hallelujah. We greet you, Lord. We greet you, Lord, our King. We are greeting you, our Lord. We are greeting you, our Lord. From Germany. We greet you, Pastor Natalia Padapaeva, with her team. Please give a hand. Pastor Tope. Germany, we were waiting for you. We love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Exclaim to him with the voice of joy. Congratulations, church. Congratulations, Pastor Bosse, Pastor Sunday. Congratulations with this new start of the God's Embassy. And of course, we would want the new generations of the Embassy of God in Germany to bring you blessing.
Please be seated. Dear Pastor Sunday, dear Pastor Bosse, Dear Pastor Sunday, dear Pastor Bosse, we would like to welcome you to our church in Kiev. The God's Embassy Church of Germany want to honor their mother church in Kiev. Earlier, there were victorious gates built uh, into a memory of a victorious person. Today, we brought you a model of the of the gate. Gates, Brandenburg Gate model. Uh, this is a monument for your spiritual uh, victory in Germany. It is a symbol that a Germany is always with you. We love you. We honor you. You always, uh, you forever live in Germany, in our hearts. We will always stand with you. Congratulations, Pastor Sunday, Pastor Bossi. Dear Pastor Sunday, we want to give you this wonderful uh, bucket of flowers uh, as the symbol of a seed that you planted in Germany. This seed will always bring fruits. In Germany, the Germany loves you. The Germany will always be with you on your side. Thank you, Pastor, for everything. Uh, I'll speak in Russian. This is from Baden Baden. I draw this uh, picture for you. <laughs> Um, one of the nights I just I just had this inspiration to draw uh, if you uh, would like I, I would uh, joyfully paint the pictures in your new building thank you a lot thank you a lot there are so many people from Germany they're not the only one who came I know there are even more people in Germany who stayed there and now I can say for sure that the Germany is one thank you friend thank you God bless you all thank you Lord what do you think are there the critical situations that um, would allow us to be lazy and irresponsible. I think there are no situations like this. God and His strength is always strong in order to hear the people who are calling to Him for help. When you look into this hall, you, you are able to see the people who are joyful. They are the people who are very joyful, but they still go through the hardships and troubles. Yes, I agree. We need to trust the Lord. We need to not only sit and trust the Lord, but we need to be involved. We need to do things. We need to act. And if we do not know how to act, we need to go and ask for advice. And so I would want to invite the people who overcame their own hardships, the people who overcame their their trouble. We are waiting for you. We are inviting Vitaly and Marina. 
We are winning with the word of our victory. We are giving you this victory. Good evening, dear church. My testimony is very simple. I came to this church to die. The Bible uh, lived in my childhood. When I was three years old, I tried the alcohol. Uh, but I studied well. I have too high education. But when I was 36 years old, I was homeless. And so I came here in order to die. I tried to accomplish, uh, to do the suicide tri triple. And so I decided to change my life with God. I was stumbling a lot. I went to the different churches before. Five of the denominations I, I went to before I came to the embassy of God. I met Pastor Sunday, I met Pastor Natasha. Ten years after, my life has changed. I'm one of the leaders of the higher educational centers, the National uh, Aviation University. I have an opportunity to influence 300 400 people through my lectures. I lost the family. I um, I lost it when I was uh, drunk. My wife told me she got tired of the smell from my mouth. I was always drunk. I had no hope to have the family, but God made a miracle. This Sunday, Pastor Natasha announced the engagement, and here is my future wife. Good evening, dear church. I'm very glad to congratulate you all with this celebration. Yes, truly, we... Just as... Um, just as you already heard, my, my life was all, also ruined. I came to God in the year 2001 after the ruined marriage. I was uh, abused a lot in my former marriage. I turned to the military forces for protection, but uh, I did not receive any. Acknowledging that there are ladies like I am who went through this abuse, uh, nobody needs us. The society cares not. And so when I came to God, God cleansed me. God dried my tears. He gave me the future and hope. Before I came to God, I thought my life was over. As my former husband prophesied, I would leave under the fence. He threw me off with a baby. Three months after, I came to the church. And I'm not sorry that I gave my heart to the Lord. Eight years after, God gave me a groom. Who was ever told uh, that he will die at the person nobody needs? We will live in the gates of heaven. We will live in the hall of glory nobody will will die homeless but of course our old man is dead already we came to the Lord and new things are happening God gave us new life good evening dear church my name is Louisa I'm from Simferopol I'm a pastor of a daughter church our elder pastor is Anton Litvin I want to testify how I came to God. When I was 19 year old, a first gospel was heard. But I was young and I wanted to live the way everybody else lived. I wanted no limits. 
When I turned 34, when I got sick with cancer, when I laid in my bed, uh, not being able to do anything, I had three children then. My older kid was eight years old. I knew if I will die, um, and I was not afraid, but my children, they were the reason why I decided to leave. I knew uh, nobody would care for my children if I die. And so this is when I turned to the Lord, saying, Lord, if you are, if you exist, help me. Help me, because when I got sick, when I started to use all the possible ways of uh, treatment, nothing helped. It turned even worse. There were many things in my life. Money, apartment, car, finances, husband. It sounded like I had everything I needed, but one thing was lacking. I lacked God. I lacked God and therefore I lacked happiness and health. And so at the moment when nothing helped, when I was not able to heal myself, I turned to God, saying, God, if you exist, please raise me for the sake of my children. Raise me for the sake of my children so I can raise my children. I said to the Lord, if you're going to raise me, Lord, I'm going to give you all of my life. I will tell all the people that you're alive. I will give you all of my life. And this is what I've heard in my heart. The spiritual voice inside of me said, start reading the Bible. I started to read the Bible the way I was able to. When I started to read, I started to feel this healing in my life. And it got better and better and better. And then I came to the church and I repented. A month after, I was completely healed. Completely healed. And just as I gave the promise to God, I started to minister. I had only one desire for God to heal me. But God not only healed me, but He healed all the parts of my life. He healed my heart, my health. All of my life was healed. Now, presently, I'm a pastor of the church. I'm graduating the best institute university in Crimea. I'm a psychologist. I'm a leader of the Korean movement in Crimea. I'm a mother of four children. And all of this is a result of God's glory in my life. God's work in my life and all the things that I have, I give to God. But the, mess, the main thing that I received from the Lord is this peace and joy. There is nothing better, nothing more important in this life than God. I'm so thankful to the Lord that I, for the fact that I am the one I am. You can never stand in God. You have to always move on. And I'm so thankful to our pastor Sunday, to Pastor Anton. You know, when I was sick, it was a very hard time for me. And it was so hard to believe then. It is so hard to believe when you're experiencing a disease, when you're constantly in despair and depression. And all those symptoms, they keep on bothering you all the time, every day, and you cannot resist it, and you have no strong spirit in your heart. And so I was turning the tapes on, the Pastor Sunday's tapes, and I was listening to them, and every time I was listening to them, I felt better and better, and I was overcoming my spirit. Then I met Pastor Anton. He was a father to me. And you've noticed I'm not Ukrainian. I'm not a part of European. I'm a Korean. And it was so hard for me to live in Ukraine. I always felt uh, discriminated. Uh, but when I came to God, all those things um, got ruined. I started to feel completely received. And nowadays I can share that I'm, I'm living. I have four children and it is a hard time, it is a hard life for me, but I'm living with God and I am rejoicing.
I came up to confirm that everything Pastor Luisa is speaking is truth. It is a person who was ill and she was dying because of cancer, but God didn't just heal her, but she could give birth to a first child. Despite anything, all the diagnoses, she became a pastor of, uh, of the church and she became a social worker who leads a movement uh, she leads a Korean movement in the Crimea and she is a famous person at the, in that area you can see her on TV you can see her in the internet because, because she took the responsibility for her life so God can take every person, even a person who is destroyed, and He can restore, He can heal, He can give a family, He can give children, He can give education, and He can make her a, a pastor. You know, we are serving to a God that is all uh, Almighty, and He is real, He is alive. Thank you. God is alive. Talk to me, Lord. I want to hear your voice. In the silence, when I'm coming to you, everything is still all around because of your greatness. I can hear your steps. I want to know you. I want to know your ways. I want to see the light at the end of the way. I'm on my way. I want to be in your presence. And I want to devote my life to you. My God. My God. Talk to me, Lord. Talk to me, Lord. hundred Christians needed to change the spiritual temperature of this nation forever. Are you one of them? The Bible says creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. For this end time, you don't have to be a pastor or someone in a leadership position in a church to be part of this great move of God. All you need is a genuine hunger for the kingdom of God to be established on earth. Pastor Sunday Adelaja the pastor of the largest church in Europe, the Embassy of God, is initiating a move of God in this nation called the History Makers Bible School. The History Makers Bible School takes place only on one Saturday every month to equip you for the next level. It will also be a good opportunity to network with like-minded Christians. You will receive tried and tested keys to church growth and pastoring without tears at the Emmanuel Center 9 to 23 Marsham Street, Victoria, London. 
Southwest 1P 3DW. Registration is £40 per session. To register, call 0798 114 6157 or email admin at hmbsuk.org or visit the website at www.hmbsuk.org. Whatever you do, don't miss this move of God. Call the number on the screen now to register. Remember, you are called for a time like this.